Okay. So I think while we are waiting for Agatha and DD, we better discuss about the, the article you read yesterday night, right? Or maybe yesterday night or this morning, I'm not sure. Okay. So according to my screen, I will I will start my question to Shiva. Which started which strategy did you use for your notes? I use uh, margin and notes. Uh, okay. Notes, right? Yes, good. So you use margin and notes, right? Mm -hmm. So can you uh, can you show me your book or how did you do it? Um, so, so that, this, this one includes only this. Yeah, well, that, my margin is very small, so I, I wrote this here. Okay, yes, thank you. So how many paragraphs have you finished? I have, uh, my margin and notes uh, have finished like three paragraphs. Okay, three paragraphs. Okay, thank you. Charlotte. Hello. Yes. Um, can you hear me? My screen is all black. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. I use the Einstein strategy. Mm -hmm. Um, I finished seven paragraphs. Probably, uh, it's all. Okay. Yeah, in science strategy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ninyang. How about you? I used marginal marginal notes strategy. Mm -hmm. and I've done all seven paragraphs. Okay, yes. And then, David? I used uh, like read and read summary method, number one. I have mm -hmm. finished three three paragraphs. Okay, okay you, have th you finished three paragraphs. Okay, let me see it. Mm, thank you. Okay, yes. And Catherine? I used post it note summaries and and I finished four paragraphs. Okay, yes. Thank you. And then Su Yi. I use marginal notes. Mm -hmm. And it's also done three paragraphs. Okay, thank you. Shinka. Yes. Mm. Uh, finished two paragraphs. Uh, you finished four paragraphs? Three paragraphs. Three paragraphs, okay. Yes. Which which strategy? Which strategy did you use? Yes. Yes. Which strategy did you use? Hello, Shikha, my answer. Uh, can you answer my question? Which strategy did you use? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I cannot, I cannot hear very clearly. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Is there anyone who hear the uh, who who hear Shinkan's answer? Not clearly. So Shinkan, can you type in the chat box? Yes. Yes. Thank you. And Chile.
Oh, oh, I see here, Sheila choose. That's why I think yeah. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> okay, sorry. And, okay, Stephen? I used the summarizing method and I've read to about four paragraphs. Okay, thank you. So, okay, thank you so much to so it's on today. Tudaso is, is joining today here, the class. Okay, Tudaso, are you okay now? Hello? Hello, Tudaso, how are you feeling right now? Are you okay? Ah, okay. Yes, I see. Thank you. So, okay. So you have done, some of you have done one, two, three, four paragraph, right? So let me ask you a question. What is this about? <clears throat> about submarines. <clears throat> yes, about submarine. And what does the, the first paragraph say? Differences between submarine and submersible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Differences between submarine and? Submersible. Okay, submersible, right? Okay, and then second paragraph. The second paragraph is about how was, uh, how was submarine, how was submarines and submersible invented? Okay, thank you. Third paragraph, Catherine. The world first submarine, the turtle. How mm -hmm. the turtle was invented and how the turtle was destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fourth paragraph, Shunlet. Um, the fourth paragraph is about the um, the submarine explorer, which was this, um, designed or invented by Julius H. Crowhill. Mm -hmm. It's mainly about. Okay, fifth paragraph. Who wants to answer about fifth paragraph? Because because some of you have already read only just tail foot paragraph, right? So can you answer the people who has already finished? Fifth paragraph. Okay, I think. Steven? What does fifth paragraph say? Mm. Hello, Stephen. I think you muted so we cannot hear your voice. Oh, yes, uh, teacher. Um, I'm not having a good connection. Can you repeat the question uh, again, please? Okay. Now, now we are. Okay. Now we are discussing about. I asked the question about the summary of fifth paragraph. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't read the paragraph. Okay, so who has finished? Can I? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Okay, Catherine. This paragraph is about uh, submarine use increased greatly in World War One and uh, about the U boat. Yes. And sixth paragraph. I think he knew already then six and seven. Right. Okay, can you can you can you tell the story about it? Uh, six, uh, six paragraph is about how did submarine assist U.S. Navy uh, battling against Japan? Mm -hmm. uh, they they okay. used uh, how they used uh, submarines and wars like that. Mm -hmm. So the last paragraph is that uh, it's about modern submarines and their capability. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So now I think you have already done, you have already finished your question. Have you answered the question? Oh, let's do it. Not yet. Uh, yes, I, mean, I have done. Oh. Okay. So I will let you ask, I will let you ask you your wish first. Do you want to take as a homework for the answer, the question? Hello, because you know in uh, in the question you have to think about some or something about you have to you need to finish up uh, your reading. Okay, if you haven't finished yet, and then sometimes when you think about the answer, the answer will be very confusing. Okay, so I think I need you need to take some more time at home. Okay. You got it? Yes, did you? Yes. So I will I will give you a time, I will give you some more time to read the article again at home. And after that, answer all the questions, right? And the in question, you know, you have to think about some of the the topics and this is or some some of the some of the questions you have to think is they are connected to the uh, supported idea. They are connected to the topic sentences, right? That's why you have to think about sometimes. You need to take some time to finish up it, right? Okay, so now let's go to the lessons. Is there any question for the reading? Not yet, okay, thank you. So now let's go to the lessons, to the lessons. Yesterday we finish. Where, where did we finish? Oh, yesterday we finished at exercise four, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know, <clears throat> I think yesterday, you read uh, in urgent situation, okay? You read about page number, yes, page number, <clears throat> page number seventeen and eighteen in, in urgent situation. <clears throat> okay, so you might have some, you might, you might miss some important, important notes from your from page number 17 and 18, I think. So um, when, you, when you practice, when you do practice, you are writing, and I want you to reuse some of the notes they have already suggested, right? For example, uh, if you want to mention about your place and they have already given you some notes, how you can express your places or how you can express your house, right? That's why I want you to use the notes on the book while you are writing. It would be very effective, right? Because you know you don't need to create new words. So if I say like this, you might have some questions. So uh, teacher, don't you want us to create new things? 
No, right now you don't need, you know, if you don't need to create a new things, don't use, uh, don't use all of your foods, right? But if you need to think about the creation, you have to, okay? You got it? Do you understand what I mean? Okay. Sorry, shall I? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think Charlotte, maybe the laptop and phone are very near. At the time, they have got the echo. Yes. So you, you, you um, <laughs> I maybe you should they 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 those those two devices should stay away from a little. So okay, yeah, I think you can you can be okay right now. So what did you say? I mean, I didn't really understand about. Yes. Uh, so, okay. So you mean that you didn't understand that let's one what I said? Uh, uh, because I suggested something, I didn't hear it and I didn't really understand. Uh, okay. Yes. When we, when we read, uh, when we read page number 17 and 18 yesterday, there are some uh, you might see that there are some suggestions for your writing, especially to express about your place, to express about your house, right? So you need to read the, uh, the instruction and the, ex the examples very carefully. And after that, you have to, if you want to, you can, you have to think about how can you create your sentences by giving, uh, by using the example, the, example they show, they've shown, or uh, maybe uh, some notes from the book, right? Yeah, because, you know, I would like to suggest you one thing is, if you don't need to use your force in creation, don't use it, only just you have to go up with the follow-up situation, okay? Maybe if you have to, if you need to create, or if you need to use your force, you have to use it. So, uh, yeah, you're welcome. And I'm also I do appreciate your work for your work. And some of you have already sent it to me for the sentences we practiced yesterday. I would I ask to do for your uh, as for your homework. And yeah, so the way you wrote were very impressive and very good but uh, I sent you one of the I sent you one of the notes on Viber group right so I think have you checked I'm not sure have you checked or not I sent it that notes only just in this morning okay so that said always keep in mind that a composition of hundred to between 100 to 150 words is a code. Code means that, you know, the, the, the body one, or 100 and 150 to 200 words extended. Okay, extended means that you can put some more, uh, some more information uh, to describe, uh, to describe more detail about the core. And so every word is important and must be carefully selected. It means that you have to think about what kind of information is the most important thing, okay? So marks will not be given for simply, uh, simply filing the page with words. Every word must be the right one in the right place, okay? Because that notes is very important. And also I have already suggested you Okay, so how many words you can write is not important, but how many points can you give is important, okay? 
That is the one. I, I did this notice. I show you the this notice from your book. Maybe I you miss it or not? I'm not sure. I I take a screenshot from the book. Now you are you are studying. Okay. So don't think don't think about too much words to write. Okay. You have to think about what is the points. So it said that you know every word is important. So. Well, uh, the words you use should be connected to the topic sentence and topic and controlling idea and conclusion like that, right? That's why don't think about to put all of the information, all the one you want to, right? So you have to pick up very important points and after that, put them all to, they put them uh, put and use those important words in a paragraph, right? If you write a paragraph like this, your paragraph would be very compact. Compact means that uh, there is no extra words, it means, okay? So such kind of paragraph is really impressive and we call that as a paragraph. A paragraph means it's very good, okay? So uh, I think you, I, I want you to practice and to approach this skill, right? So um, you, you have already written so many essays and letters, but they might be different from right now, okay? Because you are going to approach to academic, okay? Academic is different from high school. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Is there any question for me? No. See, so, any questions? No, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, if you don't have any more questions before I go, before I start uh, the, you know, the lessons, and I'm going to introduce you, I would like to introduce you to uh, two notes while you're writing. Okay, so before I start my, my lessons, I would like to ask you a question. How do you prepare to write a paragraph? If I say a paragraph, they are, uh, it's included all, okay? Yeah. Whenever you write a letter or a paragraph or a passage, you have to start with preparation, right? So before you start your writing, how do you usually prepare? Hello? Anybody else? I went and volunteer. I want a volunteer. Don't be afraid of answering my questions, right? We have been we have been meeting for an hour for a month, I think. Okay. And don't, don't think about who is going to answer this question, right? You have to think about, oh, I am going to answer this question. I think if you don't have any more answers and you don't have any preparation for the writing passage, I think. Anybody else? Who usually prepare before writing? No way. Who does all? Steven? Let see. See. Catherine. David. And Shiva. If you if you have if you are not, you can say no. David? Yes, like my preparation is not like that, like a whole writing, mm -hmm. but I just think about what I'm going to write, what's potent ideas and 
uh, to focus on my uh, main idea, I think I have to think about like two minutes or three minutes before writing. Okay, so you mean that you mean that you just uh, you just prepare it to send your memory. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Okay. Wow, must the brain. Okay, and then anyone else? So let no, let the rain. Thank you so much for calling your name again and again so I can memorize your name quickly, right? <laughs> How about you? Have you remembered my name? Because you have never called my name, that's why. <laughs> so, Yi. Yes. Yes. How do you prepare for your writing? No, I have nothing. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for your answer. You should be all. You should. You should have open mind, right? You should have open mind. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid of it. I am not a school teacher. Okay. Maybe, but maybe I am not a. If I say I'm not school teacher, and then I you 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 shouldn't think that oh, teacher never teacher will never scold us, and whatever we do, teacher will accept it. Don't do don't think like that, right? I'm not a school teacher means that I will listen to you. Maybe if you have something you need, and I have to fill up it, and I have to, I have to guide you, right? That's it. And don't think me like a, a maybe like a school teacher from your from your school, okay? Some of this teacher, not not every teacher I don't know, okay? So maybe if you go to uh, especially for government school, if you go to the government school, you have to listen to the teacher, you have to copy what the teacher wrote on the board, and after that you have to learn by her. You have to recite those those passage or those um, notes in front of the teacher, right? So get rid of those things, okay? Get rid of those things. When you meet with me, but maybe you might think that, ah, teacher is very talkative and she always asks many questions to us. Have you ever thought like that? No. No to share now. Yes, thank you. Because I asked the question because I want you, I want your brain to work. Okay. Yes. So Nino, have you ever prepared? Uh, so I sometimes prepare. Uh, mostly I don't prepare. <laughs> okay, thank you. So actually, I didn't prepare too much um, before I write, and I just uh, I just start the topic sentence uh, for the idea that came from my brain immediately. I, mm -hmm. I don't prepare much. Okay, thank you. Catherine. Sometimes I prepare, but sometimes I don't. Okay. So as the food sound, okay. you use sometimes, sometimes, sometimes a lot. That's why one of the songs I have heard that I forgot it, right? I, I think that song is from Westlife. You, you might not know that because this is old song, but classic, okay. So, okay, Steven, how about you? I usually don't prepare for, um, I usually don't prepare for anything, but um, sometimes I will do it if it's like an exam or something very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. How about the dance though? Is he sleeping or is he away from the screen? I'm not sure. Or 
Yes, got some problem with audio. Okay. And David and Steven, have you ever have you ever phoned to Dudaso and Aka and Didi? Is there any problem? Do, 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 do they have any problems or any anything else? Um, we don't have much of a connection with them on the phone, but um, we can talk to them in Messenger. Okay. Yes, how about David? Yeah, me too. Even in Messenger, like we used to talk a lot. Now, this week, they are not talking to me. They are not just online and staying okay. quiet. I don't kind of. Um, okay. Uh, I just worried that maybe they were really they were really sick or they are afraid of the lessons we are approaching. I, I just wanna know the, the clear information, that's why. Okay. Yes. Okay, whatever it is, let's keep on. So today I'm going to introduce you about uh, I'm going to introduce you two methods of notes. Okay. Have you ever heard fishbowl method? No, I've never heard of it. Okay. If you heard the word fishbowl, what kind of notes can be? That's very easy. If you hear about maybe yes, ideas, what kind of ideas branching out from like one line and like ideas or maybe some yeah, some words branching out like a fishbowl. Mm hmm. Okay. So, Charlotte, when you hear about fishbowl, what what kind of picture can you imagine? Actually, I can only imagine like fish. Oh, you know, meat ball, uh, made of mm -hmm. fish, mm -hmm. eating <laughs> for food. It's like I can see a mock band or something in my eyes when I had fishbowl. Okay, yes. Inya. Yes, thank you. Inya. Uh, I see a fish bone in my mind. Mm -hmm. Maybe the head is topic or very important materials were included in the in the head. Uh, or branches are not uh, important, but not really. I, I think like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I sent one of the screenshots to the in the top box. You can see it, I think. That's the fish bone for one of the purple. Have you got? Can you see it? And I would forward to, I would forward on the fiber too. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. You see a fish bone. A fish bone is like a fish. That's very easy. Okay. So, um, as Nina said, you know the head. You have to write a topic sentence at the head. <laughs> fish ball. <laughs> no fish ball. I think fish bone. Maybe because because of my weak pronunciation. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's not. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. 
So when you heard a when you heard a fish bone, and then so I, you have got some you have you have got some problem with the fish bone, David. Have you got some problem with yeah, the fish bone? Yeah, usually when I eat fish, <laughs> that that fish bone like goes into my neck and it's oh a lot. God. It hurts a lot. Yes, it really hurts, and it it's difficult to come out again, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You should be careful while you are eating. Okay. Jinya, you also you 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 thought the wrong things. Okay. Sorry, I think I need to practice my pronunciation. <laughs> Because of my weak pronunciation, and then you don't understand it, <laughs> right? <clears throat> okay, so this is about a fishbone of one of the um, one of the paragraph, but that is not uh, you have you don't have that paragraph. But I wanted to tell you is uh, on the hat you might see a kitty door. A kitty door here is a topic for that paragraph. And in the body, in the body is you can write about the controlling idea. But for me is I just noted down what we are, uh, what uh, the writers are going to write. And in that paragraph, the, word, the writer is going to talk about the problem and the solution, right? He, is, he mentioned about the problem first. And after that, he, how did he solve that problem? That's why. In the you know in body, I wrote problem and solution. But you can write controlling idea in the body, okay? And after that, I have to think about two situations because I am going. So the reader, the sorry, the writer is going to present about problem and solution. That's why, and I take, uh, I take you know a problem for a first thing, and after that, cut words a frame and draw or uh, draw words stack words. That is detail. Okay, specific, right? Specific detail. And those are supported idea. Okay, and the second supported idea is about the solution. And uh, tapping door open and a can of wet food is, they are the, the, de the supported detail, right? And finally, the, the writer have got the answer and that is the, the cuts, the, uh, the cut and a frame of the, the cat was and a frame of using the kitty door, right? So I, I want you to learn this situation. And after that, before you write, before you write something, you need to note down, okay? Because uh, as I told you before, without notes might be, your idea might be random, okay? Because when you write down, when you write in, you cannot think a lot, right? That's why before you write a paragraph, or an essay, or anything else, you have to note down first. Maybe only just you need to take only just three minutes or five minutes. That's enough. Don't take a long time, right? And after that, you have to. You don't need to think about it anymore. Only just if you note down, if you if you make a notes, maybe on maybe on a paper. And only when you write a paragraph or an essay, you don't need to think about the important points. While you are writing, you need to think about the vocabulary, right? So while you are writing, you have to think about the important things, the information and the vocabulary. So it is a really, it's really confusing, right? So you note, you note it down on the, uh, you wrote down on the notebook, and after that, when you write a paragraph, only just you have to look at the notes. And after that, you can write down and you can think about the vocabulary. Okay, so it would be very effective. I, I think and believe that is very effective for you because when you write a paragraph, the vocabulary you use is also very important. Okay, if you what you are writing an academic essay, but the words you wrote. The words you, you, you are using is like a baby. So it's also, it's not impressive and you won't get high marks as well. Okay, that's why 
you should practice your writing like this. Okay. So whenever you take the exam, for example, maybe when you finish IDCSC, some of you may take IELTS, I mean IELTS. Okay, so IELTS, the essay, uh, most of the IELTS essay are unseen, right? So some things you don't, expert, you don't think about it. That's why you need to look down. This is very important. Okay, because when you, Write, when you write a note, you don't need to think about the facts and information when, while you're writing. So at the time, while you're writing, you have to think about only just vocabulary and then the structure like this. Okay. You got it? Hello? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, and then next one, I send it to you in the spider web. Can you see it? Did you see spider web? <clears throat> you see it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. The spider web is not much different from the fishbone. And, but the, you know, the better things for spider web is for fishbone, only just you have to think of you, when you do maybe like a problem and solving essay, and when you do the comparison, compare and contrast essay, or uh, when you want to mention about two things, and at the time, you should use fishbone uh, diagram, fishbone notes. And for spider web, spider web is, is, it can be available for any essays, right? Because uh, sp for spider, uh, for fishbone is the main, the main thing only should, the main thing should be only just two, right? But for the spider, you can, uh, you can extend as much as you can. Right, so you can see on spider web, the spider web diagram, the first cycle, okay, the oval cycle, you will see that a kitty door and problem and solution. So a kitty door is a topic and problem and solution is controlling idea, right? So, and there are some more branches, problem, solution, and conclusion, right? So the problem, and it mentioned some more detail. Uh, cat was afraid uh, because doors were stuck. And the second one has the solution. You can extend it more. You can show, uh, you can write some more specific things. And the conclusion, what is what was the conclusion like that? Okay, so spider, uh, spider, you can use a spider notes for any assays. But you have to be careful. One thing is, fishbone is only just you can use for comparison. And even comparison is there must be two. Okay, maybe comparison about dog and cat, comparison about maybe blue and black like this, right? So we, we have to think about like that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Suyi. You answer my questions. So, uh, <laughs> okay. So, is there any question till now? Yeah. Yes. What does kitty door mean? Uh, uh, mean? Kitty door. Uh, uh, yes. yes. What does it mean? You just, you just want to know the meaning of the kitty door? Yes, yes. Okay. I will let you prefer some of your friends first. Is there anyone who wants to answer what's kitty door? That's a very easy one. So she's going to answer, I think. 
No, I don't know too. Okay, very easy. Uh, the kitty doll is the doll for a kid, a kitty, not a kid. The doll for a kitty. Okay, I think maybe mostly we can see in uh, maybe foreign, uh, foreign film, foreign movies. I think so, but we don't in. In Myanmar, we don't have such kind of door for the for the animals, right? So when you watch some movies, okay, the kitty, there is a big door, right? There is a main door. And in, at the main door, you might see very small doll for the, the kitty or maybe the dog. Okay, so they can pass through from that door whenever they went. Or maybe when they are uh, when their owner was out, when their master was out, ma, ma, when their master, yes, is out, so they can go out for their blah, blah, blah. And after that, they can come in by through the kitty, the, the door, their door. And that's, I think oh, so you might see. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I was going to say that. Myanmar, maybe we'll call it Jiangwen Yes, we call it Jiangwen Bao. Yes. Jiangwen Bao and Jiangwen Bao. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. This is. I think this is very convenient for the for the animals, because you know sometimes you know you may you may hear that some of the places. Maybe when the um, when the owner was out and the house was burned by the fire, or maybe it was yeah it was burned by the fire, so some of the animals in the house were burned as well, right? Yeah, because there there was no there was uh, for them. Okay. So the kitty door, uh, having the kitty door for the, the animal is, is also good. But maybe, <laughs> okay, David, that's not a kitty door, okay. David sent a photo on Viber. Actually, that is not a kitty door, that is, the door passed through by the kid. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I clear of that. Do yes. you have any? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, so you Today you are very active to answer my question. Okay, so I want you to do practice right now. And I, I don't want to go to a new one. Okay, let's see for a whole paragraph. Okay, please turn over your book, a whole paragraph. Do you remember that? The you mean in this book? Yes, yes. In the book, there is a cold paragraph. Yeah, can I go take my book? Sorry? Can I go take my book? I cannot hear very clearly. Sorry? Can I, can I take my book? Okay. Uh, you have to take book. 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 Oh, book. Yes, yes. So. Okay, do you see that, that paragraph right now? Yes, I see. Okay, thank you. So I, I would, what I want you to do is, please read that paragraph again. And after that, you have to take notes by using two ways I've shared this morning. Okay, do you wanna try with fishbone or do you wanna try with 
spider. Okay. Now Nino is coming back. Okay. So you have to read that whole paragraph again. And after that, you have to take notes by using two methods this morning I introduced. Okay. Yeah, I didn't hear it quite well. Uh, which, par which paragraph did you mean? Uh, I have already given you the print book. Uh, the summary? Uh, not the summary. The, 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 the printed book, the book. Okay, Nino, can you show? Yes. Steven, that. Um, wait. Um, um, is it the one, uh, is it the green book or the blue book? I mean, no, no, uh, it's a white book. Oh, from there, okay, okay. Yes, it's a white one. So we have to use both of the methods. Hmm? Uh, we have to use both of the methods. Uh, uh, no, fish you, have to, you have to choose one. Oh, okay. Thank you. okay, choose one method. Choose one method you want, and after that, note it down. Okay, uh, I think 10 minutes is enough, right? Because that paragraph is, you've already, you have already familiar with that paragraph. Okay, choose just one method. You have to choose just one method and after that, note it down. And later on, uh, take a photo and then send me on Viber, Viber group. Okay, any questions for this? No. Thank you.
Have you finished? Not yet. Okay, so if you have finished, you can take a photo and then send it to me on Fiverr.
Yes, and the goal is treasure for its beauty and utility is the conclusion for that program, right? So you should be another branch. You should draw another branch. Oh, yes. yes, and then Macedonia one is an example, right? So you don't need to mention about remain and train, blah, 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 like that. Only just you have to know down the but when you when you uh, extend when you extend about the Macedonian coin, what kind of coin it is, you can mention it. Okay, so because it should be like the notes. Yes. Good. Thank you. Uh, next one. What is it? So ye. Yes, teacher. Yes, we need just a notes for your notes. Okay. You have to um only you can say that you should omit a precious metal because precious metal is a modifier, right? You don't need to mention on the notes, but when you write, you need to mention it because you want to you want to I'll show you, you want to express how precious it is, okay? So for your notes, only just gold and two important characteristics is fine, okay? So you, oh, yes, should, yes. Cross out, you should cross out precious metal is uh, prices, blah, 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 okay? Just only you need gold and two important characteristics. And... Yeah, for another notes, you should cross out it is and suitable for jewelry coins and on my purpose is, is fine. Um, next one, fine, it's okay. Yeah, Macedonian coin. Macedonian coin is only the example, right? So the for the notes, you don't need to mention about what it's, what kind of things and what kind of ability Macedonian coin has, okay? So only just you need to say Macedonian coin, that's it, okay? Yes, yes. And you should cross out, it is, it's also, uh, it's also usefulness to industry and science, right? So you can, you can leave only useful industry and science, that's fine. Okay, yes. and the last one, the last one is a conclusion. So you need to say, uh, treasure not only for not only for beauty and utility it's fine but when you make a sentence you need to fill up some some words you have to you have to support some some more some more words right but just uh, for the notes is you should write only just a short notes okay yes teacher thank you you're welcome. Okay, this one is Sean Lake's picture. Yeah, I can see Sean Lake, it's fine. The important characteristics. Okay, so Sean Lake. Yes. Yes, as I said to, as I suggested to Su Yi. Okay, as um, I suggested to Su Yi. The precious you should omit, you should cross out precious metal because it's just a modifier, right? So you have to write down uh, at the oval, oval cycle, you have to write down gold because gold is a topic and two important characteristics is controlling idea. So you have to write that sentence in the, okay? Yes. Got it? So the first branch, should be, uh, what is it? Beauty and blah, 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 correction, okay? The second branch should be usefulness in industry and science. That's it. Okay, the third branch is correct, conclusion. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, in my right. notes, I, uh, I meant to write like 
gold and uh, a little bit of like how gold is precious. And for the control, uh, for the first branch, two important characteristics and what they are. After that, I uh, how uh, the second for the second branch, how they are like important. Those two characteristics so with examples and support sentences. After the conclusion, that's how I meant to write. Okay. Yes. Um. Actually, you see. Uh, actually, you know, the the cycle in the cycle, we have to put only just the the topic sentence. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah yes. So in the topic sentence, you should write maybe gold. Okay, in the cycle, you should write gold and gold is only just one word because that's its topic, okay? And after that, two important characteristics is at the second place, right? So because two important characteristics is a controlling idea. In the cycle, we have to write topic sentence, but you shouldn't write the whole sentence, only just uh, topic and controlling is enough. Okay, teacher. Yes. So for the first branch, as I said to you before, uh, for the first branch, beauty and blah, blah, corrosion. And second branch should use usefulness in industry and science, right? Uh, if, you, if, you, uh, if you do two branches from, uh, from one line, it means that it comes from only just one, one how should I say, one supported idea. But actually, you have two different idea, right? The first one is because of its beauty. The second one is its uh, uh, its usefulness, right? So first one is for beauty, and second one is for industry and science. It has two important things, so it, it should have two branches, right? Uh, I get it now. I get it. It's like uh, Thank you. what I've learned now is like uh, it's coming from the topic idea. You know, like yes. two branches directly coming from the topic. Of Again, course. Uh, thank you. Too. You're welcome. Okay, next one. Hold on, sit. Ship up. Ship up, ship up. Ship up as well. Okay, Shabo, as I suggested to Shabo, as I suggested to Shonlin and Suyi, right? So you should write only, you should have only two branches, right? Because in the cycle, it should be topic and controlling idea. And after that, the first branch is about beauty. Second branch is about um, industry and science. The third one is about conclusion. So there will be only just three branches. Okay. Got it? Yes. Uh, uh, do I make clear? Yes. Actually, I uh, doesn't need to polish again. Is is the is there? Oh, is Sorry. The branches of uh, the second one doesn't need to polish again. Uh, is also the branches of uh, persistence to corrosion. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, it should be like that. So, you know, here, this is goal. It's a topic. It's about topic. Here are two important because, you know, I wrote it with the, the big end, so I cannot write all. So it should be two important characteristics, right? So the first one should be the first branch is about beauty. 
The second one is about, you are going to talk about industry and science, right? So and here you can make it more some branches about beauty. And the example is about Macedonian coin. And here, why it is beauty like that? You have to, uh, you have to experience, you have to expense like this, right? Uh, for the second one, here the example is uh, a stoner suit and why this is important, why this is important for to have to do like this, why this is important for, uh, how should I say, important for industry and science. You got it? It should be like this. Like, you know, if I say you friendly, uh, it should be like a family tree. You see, family tree. So, for example, like a family tree means that you are grandpa and grandma, and then here you are uncle, uncle's family, your mom's, uh, your mom's family, and your uncle, uh, your auntie's family, and you are from your auntie, uh, uncle families. There are three sons and maybe two sons and one daughter, and here. You are maybe your mom's family, you and your brother, for example, like this. And then here, and your aunt's family, and there are maybe your aunt has two daughters and one son, like this. So you have to extend like that, like, like a family tree. It looks like a family tree. But for, for the notes, we don't call family tree notes, we call that spider well. Okay. okay I think everybody got it. Yes. Okay, see, so you got it right, right now. Yes, I got it. Uh, hello. Yes, uh, this, uh, this picture. Uh, yes, this picture what? Yes. Tiger or uh, tiger or topic and in the circle. Yes, uh, the topic, the topic and controlling idea. You have to put topic and controlling idea at the uh, in the cycle. Okay. Yes. Okay, you see, this is a fish bone. What about gold? Okay, gold paragraph, this is a fish bone. The head, the head is about topic, and then the body, it's about controlling idea. Okay, the head is gold. And can you see it? The head is gold. Yes. The head is gold, and here, the, the body, uh, for, the, for the fish body, this is controlling idea two important characteristics, right? And this is conclusion, beauty and utilities, right? So you are going to express, you are going to tell about two important things. That's why you can use fishbowl because there are just two main important things, right? So the first one is about your, uh, beauty. And the second one is you are going to talk about industry and science. So here, the beauty and in beauty and the, uh, under the title of beauty, you can talk about the, some example and you can mention about how it is beautiful and how it is uh, precious for the people. Okay, And for industry, you can give an, some example and you can, uh, you can explain about how the, how the gold is important for the industry. Got it? Yes. Yeah, any question for this? So, teacher, I have a question. Yes. 
How how about spider web? Hmm? Like spider web. Yeah, this is a spider web. This is spider web for goals paragraph. If you yes. want, to, you can copy it like a gist. Okay. Yes, okay, teacher. Did you copy? Yes. Okay, thank you. And this is a fish bowl, right? Okay. Any question for this? Is there any question? No. No. Okay. So, David, do you have any questions? No, Chair. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me check it out some of your friends. Uh, okay, David, I have seen your your work. Okay, so you need to, I think you need to recheck it again. As I told you before, the head should be gold and the body. Okay, the fish body have two character, two important characteristics. And after that about beauty and then about industry and science. And you can make something details now. Okay, sure. Okay. You should you should make yourself clear because this is the first thing in this is the first thing you are learning. That's why if you are not clear at first, you would be uh, you would be confused finally. Are you okay now? Yeah. Okay. So have you seen the, 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 the example I show? Yeah, I saw it. Okay, thank you. When did you work it out like that? Okay. Stevens one. Oh. Okay, Stevens, your your one is also okay. Catherine. Hmm, Catherine. Catherine. Yes, Jill. Yes, did you copy when I showed the example? Why you show us the example? I've already drawn my pictures and I've already yes. sent. Yes, I see. I see. Even though you have already sent it, even though you have done it, but I just want to see you the example. So you need to do your, so you can, you can do correction yourself. Okay, because you know you are fish. Okay, your fish head is uh, concerned with controlling idea, right? So fish head should be only just one word, gold, because gold is a topic, right? So two important characteristics should be in the in the body of the fish, right? And after that. The first thing should have should be about maybe 
beauty. And the second thing she showed about you, right, you should write about industry. And after that, you can make some more branches for detail. Yes, right. mm -hmm. I correct them. Too long. Uh, we just want notes. Hello, Shinken, are you okay? Yes, Shinken, if you are not clear for my questions and what I talked, you can ask me again, okay? Don't be, uh, don't feel bad or don't, don't be shy to ask the question to me, right? Okay? Okay. Yes, because uh, you you sent me, I think, around, you sent me uh, around information that I asked, uh, around answer that I asked to do. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then now I have sent you one of the file on Viber group that is about descriptive writing. Let's go to that lesson. Do you, do you see it? Okay, have you got that file? Yes. Yes, teacher, I got it. Thank you so much. So now let's learn about descriptive writing. Before we go to descriptive writing, we have to know about the purpose, right? What is points and purpose? Okay, Catherine, can, can you read the first uh, from, uh, can you read from point and purpose to strangely intriguing? Um, yeah. My, uh, the file is all black on my phone like this. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So I would share the screen. Mm -hmm. I think I cannot share the screen. I need to ask to the teacher. Oh, uh, this is okay now because I can send me the photo. That's okay, crucial. thank you. Yes, thank you. Because I cannot share the, the screen right now because I need to ask to the host to let us share the, the screen. Okay, so Catherine, can you read it from point in intriguing? And if you have finished reading, and uh, what is this about? Can you tell us the points? Yes, Terry, can you give uh, time for reading? Sorry? 
can you give me a time for reading? Okay, so do you want do you want to get a time? Yes, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just only one, two, three, four, five, six sentences. Uh, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. uh, do I explain to my friend? Do you have to? You better explain about just the notes. Uh, yes. Uh, point of purpose is the key to understanding types of paragraphs and kinds of paragraphs, and uh, it means like that. Uh, this point and purpose is really important in every paragraphs or like letters or like writing. Um, in writing, the words point and purpose are almost uh, like the same, but uh, and it's like it pair it uh, it's like a pair. And our point is our purpose. Our purpose is a, our point, and. Um, we are uh, how we decided or how we decide to make our point clear to our reader is also your purpose, and it is really um, important. Uh, writers, well, we may uh, we we have uh, we must have a point and purpose for every paragraph that we create. So so that uh, what is the idea and what is the purpose of this paragraph? So. Or the reader can uh, uh, can know what is the purpose of this paragraph, and uh, writers write this their descriptive paragraphs because their purpose is to describe something. Like uh, if uh, if we are talking about our our family, we describe carefully about our family and to understand uh, in better ways to our readers and. And there, and our point is that something is beautiful or disgusting or strangely intriguing. It, it can be like um, different ways, like beautiful or strangely or like uh, complicating. It it can be. It can be all the ways. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And <clears throat> I'm going to give you three minutes for uh, three minutes to read uh, the lower three paragraphs. Okay, there are three example, three descriptive paragraph example. The first one is uh, describing about a sunset. Next one is relaxing at the beach. Third one is my mother's kitchen, right? So please read those example. And after that, you, uh, we are going to practice.
Have you finished? Uh, not yet, teacher. Mm -hmm. Have you finished? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Shinkan, I'm not asking about the spider. I'm asking about a gold, a passage about a gold in, per, in spider method. Yeah. I think you the wrong message. Right, Shinkan? Yeah. Yes. No, you. I have already. I have. I have already printed a book. And, uh, there is a paragraph. There is a passage about gold, and you have to read that passage. And after that, you have to note. You have to note. Uh, note down some notes from gold in the spider method or fishbowl method. You can. You can use as you like. Okay, I am not asking about writing a spider. Okay. okay. Hmm. Okay. I think you all have already you all have already read it. Now you have to do your one. And I, I think, you know, my mother's kitchen would be easier one, easier title, easier topic for you, okay, right? Yes. Is it easy? My mother's kitchen. Oh, sorry. So my mother kiss my mother's kitchen is easier or relaxing at the beach is easier. Which one would be easier to describe? Choose the title you want. Shalan, I can hear I can't hear you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just uh, remembering. Oh. I saw that you, I'm sorry, I, I saw your, your mouth was moving, moving, that's why. Yes, yes. Hello, teacher. Yes, see? Yes, for me, I'm more, more okay than this realizing at the beach. It is okay. Than... Yes, yes, you can choose as you like. And Shabot? 
for me, my mother's kitchen is easier for me. Sorry, my mother's or? Oh, my mother's kitchen is easier. Okay, my mother's kitchen, right. And then because one, one vote and one vote, that's why I'm going to ask another one. Nanyoung? Mother's kitchen. Mother's kitchen, okay, two votes, one. And Catherine? I prefer relaxing at the beach. Okay, David. I I will choose relaxing at the beach. This is my mother's. Uh, this is my mother' kitchen, and this is Rosen at the beach. Okay, two votes and three votes. Sing it. Yeah. Yes. Which one? My mother's. My mother's kitchen or relaxing at the relaxing at the beach. Mother's kitchen. My mother's kitchen. Three votes and three yeah. votes. Okay. <gasps> Steven. I would say my mother's kitchen. Okay, my mother's kitchen. So four votes and three votes. I think it's done right now. Okay, we got Charlotte's answer. Either is fine, right? So let's let's choose to my mother's kitchen. Okay, because yes, that's easy. Because my mother's kitchen is easier to describe because you can see it. Uh, maybe if, for example, you cannot forget about your mom, your mom's kitchen, right? Because you you always you you always eat the dinner or breakfast uh, in the kitchen, so you are more familiar with your mom's kitchen. Okay, but one important thing is you have to learn how uh, the paragraph described about uh, his or her mom's kitchen, okay? You don't need to copy it, just you have to read it. You have to take the example. And after that, you have to mention about your mom's chicken, okay? Is there any questions? Sure. Okay, yes. So it you is in the homework. Uh, yes, it's going to be homework, but right now we are going to practice for your speaking. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, now is a speaking practice, right? So I want you to talk about what uh, uh, can you describe about your mom's kitchen? Who wants to describe it first? Because, you know, this is not, uh, this is uh, homework. So writing a paragraph, a paragraph is homework. Right, but now is a I want you I want to practice with your speaker skill. Okay. Who want to be first? Uh, I better choose three people. One, two, one, two, three, four. Five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, right? I will choose three people, right? Three people uh, with the number. Actually, here are eight people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, here are nine people, but I'm not sure if Gautu does so because when I call out his name and then he couldn't answer anything else. 
That's why uh, I will go to one to eight, right? <clears throat> One, two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, according to my screen, I will let you start from Stephen. Okay, Stephen, number one to one to eight. Which number do you do you like? I'll choose four. Four. Okay, Stephen, four. And uh, after Steven, Shinken. Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. And then Su Yi. Number two. Two. David. Three. Three. Nunyo. Five. Five. Okay. Note down your number on your note. Please. Okay. Catherine. Seven. Catherine. Seven. Seven. Okay. Shabo. Eight. Eight. It is already done. Three. We left, oh no, we left one and six. 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 Okay, so Charlotte, automatically one, right? Yes. Okay, so let me confirm your number, uh, the number you choose, right? So, Stephen, four, and Shinken, eight, Suyi, two. David three, Ninyon five, Catherine seven, and Shibo six, Charlotte one, right? Okay, the number I wrote was <laughs> two, five, and seven. Okay, who are two and who are who are two? Mr. Yes, let me see. Can you describe about your mom's kitchen? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Shall I start? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, my mother kitchen is, is so simple. Uh, it have a chair and a table, and it have variety of spice. Like this, for example, it have fish sauce, soy sauce, oyster sauce, like this, so many things. Uh, I like the smell of my mother cooking because my mother is good at cooking. He, she, yeah. Maybe she forgets about her mom's kitchen and then she, or, as she is asking. I'm thinking about vocabulary. Which one I'm sure. Or...
Yes, I like the weight of her cooking. Here's she makes the she makes so clean of her kitchen. Okay. Yes. We are, we are walk together every day with my mom and with my sister, with my little sister. Yeah, this is the end. Clap your hands for your friend. Catherine, I cannot see your, your, um, you club with you. You club with a symbol, okay? Thank you, David. Thank you, David. I see your hands. Okay. Number five. Who's five? Okay. So, my uh, in my mom's kitchen, uh, in the uh, as soon as we enter the uh, as we enter the kitchen we uh, on the on the right side we can see the rice uh, cooker i mean uh, yeah cooker and then and then the table and chairs and after that uh, on uh, the side beside the cooker uh, cooker we can see fridge we can see fridge and then near the fridge there's a water bottle big water bottle and um, on the left side, uh, uh, I mean near the near the water bottle, there's a uh, there's a stove, a stove, and some kind of kitchen access. Uh, how do I say? I, I will just say accessories like um, oils, salt, and something like that. And on the left side, there is a washing machine. But we never use the washing machine, but there is washing machine, and uh, near the washing machine, there is toilet and bath, uh, bathrooms. And um, near the table, like around a uh, right, uh, how do you say? Left uh, on the left side of the table, there is a uh, there is a there is a place where we put the plates. And near the place, there's a basin to wash the dishes. That's all. That's my mom's kitchen. Okay, thank you. Yes, the last one, good seven. Uh, my mother's kitchen is really a, uh, is a very adorable place because it decorated decorated with uh, species and utensils and we can uh, we can see many um, uh, many things that is uh, connected with the with cooking and it it's uh, it's really uh, beautiful and in the kitchen, my, uh, my mother and uh, her kitchen is uh, a, a not uh, not too large, and it's like a medium. Uh, so, uh, in the kitchen, there is two. There is not too many things because my mom like uh, like the clear side. So there is we we don't uh, we don't put uh, things like uh, tomato pasta like potato pasta in the kitchen because my mom's uh, at that time my mom said oh this this is not good this is not good you make me my eyesight very complex uh, it makes me complex so we put that baskets in uh, outside of the kitchen and um, so and uh, we. Uh, Yes. Um, in the kitchen, uh, on the left, uh, on the left side of the kitchen, there's an oven, and on the right side of the kitchen, there's a cabinet, a cabinet, and mom, um, are we always clean our kitchen because are we if we clean our kitchen, so we, uh, we. 
eat our dishes. Um, my mom uh, cooked the dishes in that in the kitchen, so we must clean our kitchen, and it is an important thing to us. Um, uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's all. Okay, thank you. Don't like clap your hands. The picture, the picture cannot make sense sometimes. Chabok. Yes, thank you, Stephen. We heard your voice. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for today. And uh, what's your homework is to have to read it how to describe uh, ideas, but yes, how to describe your family on page number 19. Okay, so your homework, uh, that is one homework, right? How to describe about your family and on page, I think page 19 and 20, okay? And next one is, you have to, uh, I'm also, I need to note it down, right? The homework. So how to describe about your family. And next one is you have to write about your mom's kitchen. Right? And yes. next one is you have to you have to do QA of submarine. Okay, so you have got three homeworks. Does that make clear? Am I make clear? Yes, clear. Okay, thank you. Yes. Um, can you turn on all of your video, Bia? Because I have I want to take a uh, present and absent. Okay, Stephen, I can see you. Okay, right now, thank you. So thank you so much for today. See you next week.